The end of April and early May is perhaps the most beautiful time to be in England, certainly in the south of England. So this is the Deshojo which is in front of my house. I like to show this Deshojo because it is so unusual. It is a proper Deshojo and in fact I purchased this tree from a village called Yamagata in Kyushu in Japan, not far from Shikoku Island. Anyway, so this is the tree and this year it's done this very unusual thing of having yellow leaves and red leaves on the same tree. The tree is about, I would say, 15 feet high and the lower part of the tree, which is in shade, is more red because the sun hasn't bleached it. But the upper portion is where it gets the full sun has turned almost completely yellow. I have some other maples here. These are all seedlings, believe it or not. Seeds that fall on the ground germinate. So this tree is only about, I would say, 10 or 12 years old. Beautiful, beautiful tree. And in the autumn, the leaves are deep scarlet. This tree, which has very unusual leaves. Look at that. It's got six, seven lobes and very deeply incised and the autumn color is also stunning. It's partly weeping. I tried to air layer it last year, but it didn't take. You can see the air layering mark, but I may air layer it again because I want another tree from that. So let's have a further look at this tree. There you go. Birds are singing. And against the blue sky, I will take another picture when the sun is shining. April is a lovely month, but we always get April showers. So during the past week, we've had a lot of rain and they weren't just showers, but they were torrential showers of rain. So you can see there's still dark clouds looming over the horizon, but there are patches of blue sky. So I'll walk around and film some of these lovely maples that are coming out into leaf because they change color throughout the year and in spring the colors are always bright and vibrant. While I'm passing this area, this is my Zen gravel garden and I always love to show these lovely little bluebells which are growing in the gravel. They're all self-sown seeds. I haven't the heart to pluck them out and get rid of them. So let me walk around and show you some of the maples that we have. I think this particular one is a Mikawa Yatsubusa, trained as a bonsai, and I've been training this for more than about 25 years. I'm not going to get tempted and get distracted by showing you the evergreens. I'm only going to concentrate on the maples. So that's a large red dissectum, which is about three meters or more tall. This is one of the Benichi Dori that we have made. We make our own Benichi Doris, growing them in the field. So that one is about four foot tall, 1.2 meters. And now let me walk into the main maple area because this is my pride and joy. There are so many maples here and the sun is just filtering through the shade house. So these are all major, major trees. I will walk on the other side because the sun is in my eye but from the other side it may look more interesting but every side gives a different facet different feel to the tree this is the chicken plucker tree that large tree with uh, a twin trunk and that one is more than four foot tall i think but i love these large trees those of you who know me will know that i'm a great lover of large bonsai small bonsai interest me but they don't have the same uh, vibrancy and vigor that these big trees have let me walk on the other side and show you what it looks like from the other side so many different types of maple that one is just a mountain maple, but again, it's got beautiful, beautiful Nibari. That one I would say is about 75 to 80 centimeter tall. This is a very large Deshojo, grown in a broom style. 
and the deshojos have already started turning color they were a bright vibrant red like this they should have been that was about three four weeks ago and now they're starting to turn green so the leaves will eventually turn green so for those of you who do not know your maples you learn something new i hope and maples keep changing color throughout the growing season this is another of my large they show you specimens this is about i would say nearly four foot tall this used to be one of my chelsea exhibits again the color has gone down a bit and this is the chicken plucker tree from this side you notice that I'm growing them on the shade because we can still get a lot of late spring frost and the spring frost can damage the leaves. So these trees were repotted this year. I did a major repot of most of my maples. So all the maples that are on this bench were repotted this year. across the bench you can see how many maples we have this is just one bench I have about five more benches like this oh yes this is that large maple forest that I've had for many many years I refuse to sell it because it's one of my favorite trees. Yet another area. These are the large fat trunk maples which are grown from ordinary field grown trees. This is only again three years in training but it's coming along. Another of our homegrown, field-grown maples. So it's a nursery stroll, but with emphasis on the maples. This is our shade house. And the maples are kept in here just to prevent them getting scorched by the sun and also damaged by the frost. So these deshojos again are turning color. They were a much more vibrant red two weeks ago and already they are turning slightly green. This, believe it or not, was an air layering that we took only last year. And already a bonsai. Everywhere you look, there are maples. So they showed you and this is one of our homegrown benichidoris already turning color they were a brighter pink than that but it's turning yellow like the katsura 
and yet another I'm, I haven't even taken you to the field yet this is still the tunnel these are the bonsai our own made bonsai take you to the field where we have scores and scores of Benichidori. That is a classical Benichidori color, soft pink. And these are Deshojos. Again, they're our own field grown, homemade Deshojo maples. Some of them are very large. And waiting for more ramification and branches to develop. Walk you through the greenhouse, that's a Benichidori again. And that one I think was probably a Benichidori, I can't tell. It may have been, but I also have a Segen, but I can't find it. These are own field grown trees made from field grown material. show you this area we've, where we've segregated the Deshojos and Benichidoris because once they change color and turn green it's very hard to tell whether they're only mountain maple or Benichidori or uh, the Deshojo so let me show you what we've done The maples are looking really good this year because they haven't been caught by the frost. Look at that crab apple. Yeah, that one, yes. That one is a garden tree, Kotonoito. So look at the leaves on that. Harp string and the leaves are literally like thread. Thread like leaves. The more you look, the more you will find. And this is, I can't remember the name of this one. I just call it a crab claw. Yeah. Look at the leaves of that one. Here, yeah, what's this pink and white and green? That one I think is called Urido Nishiki. Pink, cream and green. Uh, I don't know what this orange one is. This is probably just a mountain maple or anything. Sakazuki. Oh, could be. Could be. And now if I take a panoramic view, look at all the day shoujas and they're more in the field. I haven't yet got round to assembling them all together. I want to keep them all together so that I don't get confused with them. So these are the shoujos and these are Benichidori. Look at the Benichidori I've got. Look at it. There must be more than 50 large ones and all created from air layering, constantly airing the top. And these are the Benichidoris. These are there. A few Benichidori there. But these are all Deshojo. This is another project. It's being airlaid because I want to create a twin trunk tree from that one. And if I can walk into another area, I always like to show there's a maple we call uh, uh, golden leaves. The yellowing hasn't Nishiki Gasane. Can you see the variegation there? Mm. Nishiki Gasane, extremely rare, but I'm air layering this tree, but it's not successful because I want to convert them into bonsai because the bases of the trees are very beautiful 
and I will do them again and we will make this into a big bonsai. So they've been here for more than 30 years. <laughs> Look at that. So this is how we make our bonsai. Look at that <laughs> rhododendron. Who says I don't grow other plants besides bonsai? <laughs> Look at it. This was only a young small plant that someone presented to me. A nurseryman gave it to me. You can smell that as well. <laughs> yeah, this is Japanese honeysuckle. Japanese honeysuckle with beautiful trunks. So I still enjoy my plants very much. So these are different types of wisterias that we are growing. Ah, oh, this is Orido Nishiki. This is Orido Nishiki. Nice. Three color, pink, cream and green. And the corners are waking up here. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour showing you all our maples. There you go.